Hey Subnautica fans, let's discuss the hatchet enzymes and the ingredients needed to craft, including an efficient route to quickly go around and grab all the ingredients in about 5 to 10 minutes, and mostly stay out of danger while doing so. So the enzymes require five different ingredients. The first is an eye stalk seed from an eye stalk plant. Eye stalks can be found in several different biomes, and you've likely ran across at least one of these on your travels already. The second ingredient is a sea crown seed from a sea crown plant. This is the rarest ingredient out of the five and is only found in a handful of places in the entire game. You can actually find one in the primary containment facility in the tank of the Sea Emperor Leviathan. Third is a fungal sample from a tree mushroom in the mushroom forest. This is one of the easier ingredients as there are many mushroom trees in the two mushroom forest and they are fairly safe biomes. Fourth is a ghost weed seed from a ghost weed. There are lots of ghost weeds in the Lost River and some in the blood kelp zones. These may be late game zones, but as you're looking for a hatching enzyme and ingredients, you're already late game, so this shouldn't present you much of an issue. The last ingredient is a bulb bush sample from a bulb bush in the bulb zone. How many times can I say bulb? These are easy to find as bulb bushes are abundant. Just watch out for the ampules and the bone sharks. So how can we get all these ingredients as fast and as easy as possible? I'll show you. Now, if you guys have watched my other Subnautica videos, you know when I give directions, I love to start at LifePod 3. And some people have asked me, why are you starting at LifePod 3? Because LifePod 3 is always in the same place, and it's usually the first LifePod people find. Whereas your starting life pod actually begins in a random location out of a different number of predetermined locations. So I have no idea where your starting life pod is actually going to be. If you need help finding life pod 3, check out my video on that. The link is in the description below. Okay, so here we are at life pod 3. This is actually going to be really quick and fast and simple, guys. We're just going to head to the north on our compass here. And directly to the north of this life pod, you're going to see a hole right in front of you. That hole has eye stalks in it. This is an eye stalk plant right here. Grab a piece and mosey on. Head to Life Pod 6. Again, if you need help finding Life Pod 6, check out my Life Pod playlist on my channel. Okay, here at Life Pod 6, I want you to look to the west and you'll see this kind of rock formation here right in front of us. There are cave entrances on the side of that. I want you to go in there and head straight down. You get towards the bottom of this cave in a few different places they exist, but you'll see a plant that looks like this. That is the ever rare sea crown. As I said, you can find one of those in the primary containment facility in the tank with the sea emperor Leviathan. But this is one of the few other places in the game that you can actually grab that. Now from life pod six again, just head east into the mushroom forest so we can grab our fungal sample. Oh, so many mushrooms, how to choose which one I want. It doesn't matter, pick a mushroom and smack it with your knife. After you have your fungal sample, head in a northeast direction to the bulb zone. Specifically, just head towards life pod 12. Need help finding life pod 12? You know what to do. Pick a bulb, any bulb, smack it with a knife, get your sample. Okay, the reason I wanted you to, to go to life pod 12 in the bulb zone is because from here we will have sp very specific directions. So get above life pod 12 and then turn directly in between north and northeast on your compass. Head that direction and stay close to the sea floor so you don't get lost. So come up over this rise and then the, it'll start to big dip back down again. Stay on that dip and just keep heading down this direction. Once you get over this cliff and it starts to go down really deep, just keep heading that way and kind of Veer to the left if you have to at all, any direction, but you should see this big giant hole in front of you. This is an opening to the Lost River. And we all know what's in the Lost River. River? River. Lost River. Death. Death is what's in the Lost River. Actually, what's in the Lost River is these beautiful, beautiful ghost weeds. Jesus! Smack with your knife, get back in, get out of there. And there we go, guys. That's all five ingredients. Didn't take that long fairly safe, go craft those enzymes. Again, if you guys need help finding any of those life pods that we use as waypoints, check out my playlist on that. Otherwise, let me know if you have any questions about this video or any other Subnautica questions or videos that you'd like to see. Thanks for watching, guys. Now go get wet.